All right, all right, Israel. Listen to me good. I had to ask this question, and let me say this too. Don't you niggas go getting all in your feelings and whatnot. You understand that? As always, um, I am warning Israel against foolishness, against wicked men, against false doctrine, against false prophets, and so on and so forth. You understand that? Let me say grace and peace be unto you, to all of the family who have the testimony. Those of you, you who do not listen to this message good as well as all others. And we are hoping that the Heavenly Father will share with you the secrets of the testimony that you might understand what this is all about. But today, this night, we shall examine the ridiculousness of this book of Enoch f- to the purpose of making aware to those that may have had their souls subverted by this bullshit of the foolishness that it represents. All right. Strictly some white man foolishness. Got to be. Some old goddamn, I don't know, cyber network foolish. I don't know what to call this bullshit. Make up some, excuse me, shallow one. What's going on with y'all? Uh, you know, just like I said, man, <laughs> this oppressor, this, this, this so-called white man, this shit is definitely got his name written all on it. You understand that? And I would not that you... Uh, my brethren would partake of this foolishness. We've been learning a lot about how Hamashiach holds accountable the church for having with them false doctrine and false teachers. Okay. And you can't get no more false than this foolishness right here called the book of Enoch. And I mean, niggas, let me say this again. Don't get mad at me. I don't give a damn, but don't get mad at me, brothers. You see that? Don't get mad at me because I'm bringing it out how much foolishness this stupid ass book of Enoch is. All right. And I'm not going to debate you. I ain't got nothing to say about it. I'm saying this right here and you will be your own judge. I'm going to bring a few things out. Okay. Now at the top of the list, at the top of the order, I'm going to have to ask you all. Well, we'll get to it. I want to ask you all where Hamashayak was doing when all of this shit that was supposed to be going on. I guess he does uh, against what the scriptures say. He does bear the sword in vain, huh? <laughs> I'll let you niggas tell it. I guess he does bear the sword in vain. Because now we about to go over this thing a little bit and I want all to see how ridiculous even it is to have presented this shit. You see that? Now, let's read a little bit. All right, and then guess what? After we finished tripping on the opener, like I said, where was Hamashayak when the Heavenly Father was getting beat over top of over the top of his head and having the kingdom rend from his from his mighty grasp? I want to answer that. I want to answer to that right there. <laughs> and then we'll also go into the real scriptures into the real book of Yahweh, and we'll read why even if this were a notion why it still could not be without without let me say directly um contradicting all of the holy prophets and Hamashak, everything he is the word so by saying that this book of enoch is legitimate you saying Yahawashah Hamashayak gave it to be so because he's the word so you saying he he gave this testimony to whoever wrote that I don't know who is it is it Enoch never like I said ain't nan damn witness in, the, in, in, in among the prophets what I mean what 
When did Isaiah say something about some damn book of Enoch or Moses? When? When did Ezekiel mention this damn book? When did Hamashayak mention this goddamn book? I thought it was out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. But you niggas have let this shit be established and ain't nan damn uh, witness the first. Like I said, where was Hamashayak when I want you to, before we get into it, I want you to think about that question. Where in the hell was Hamashayak when the Heavenly Father was being overthrown by these angels? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. I know. And you know what? We've had brothers have, have had been so far gone about this goddamn book. They've brothers have shed tears. Literally, I'm talking about no life. Uh, Israel. Hung up on us. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, departed from us in disgust because we're highlighting the issues that this here um, book of Enoch's supposed book of Enoch has. And they got in their feelings and they got mad. You see that? But now I'm going to bring it out because we are in the last five minutes. Hamashak is in the firmament. So I, again, I'm doing my normal, making my normal rounds, daily rounds, whether I'm in the streets, whether I'm on YouTube, whether we're in the hell, face to face with this brother and sister, whatever. Doing the business of defending this gospel, doing the business of speaking to the law and the testimony. OK, so we need some answers. Now, I thought how much I could ask. I thought the scriptures asked about when did the heavenly father ever say to one of these angels, thou art my son. But these niggas is supposed to be the sons of heaven. Let's get into it. Check it out. Listen to it. Good. It happened. After the sons of men had multiplied in those days that daughters were born to them. Elegant and beautiful. Really elegant. That long ago, elegant, huh? Okay, gotcha. Sound like some white man bullshit to me. And when the angels, the sons of heaven, where in the hell have we ever heard such verbiage? The sons of heaven. When at any time have the heavenly father called any of these angels, thou art my son. But they the sons of heaven. I understand. Beheld them. They became enamored of them, saying to each other, come, let us select for ourselves wives from the progeny of men and let us beget children. So wait a minute. I guess these niggas, they done gone from celestial bodies into uh, terrestrial bodies, right? So now they've taken on flesh. Where have we ever read about this? Who else has testified and bared witness to this? So, and, and again, when they did this and overthrew, hold on, let me go back here. Um, when they did this, where was Hamashayak? That's what we need to know. Like I said, I guess he does bear the sword in vain. He can save all of Israel out of Egypt and do all of these things. Come back on his way back to smite the whole earth. But in in heaven, some some dusty ass angels knocked him off. I guess knocked him over the head and then made their way. <laughs> Then they made their way to the Heavenly Father and smacked him up too, huh? Said, we're going to do this. Let's see what this says. All right. Let us select for ourselves wives of the progeny of men and let us beget children. Then their leader, Sam Yaza, said to them. 
I fear that you may perhaps be indisposed. to the performance of this enterprise and that I alone shall suffer for so grievous a crime. Ain't no big deal, is it? No fear to heavenly father. You share in heaven with him and it's just another day, uh, uh, another day that he just says, oh, ain't no big deal. I alone will, will, uh, will bear what is this shit suffer or so grievous a crime no big deal the heavenly father ain't ain't nobody worried about him <laughs> and you know so he says and bind ourselves okay and he says but they answered him and said we all swear so they ain't got no fear either but isaiah 11 tells you that 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 that, that this root of david how much we know um was brought up in the fear of the heavenly father but not these niggas these niggas right here they ain't no big deal man we're gonna do what the hell we want to do and we ain't even worrying about the heavenly father i got you no doubt and bind ourselves to this mutual execrations that we will not change our intention but execute our projected undertaking Listen to this verbiage. Then they swore together and all bound themselves by mutual execrations. Their whole number was 200 who descended upon Ardis, never heard of it, which is the top of Mount Armon, Armon, whatever. That mountain, therefore, was called Anman, because they had sworn upon it and bound themselves by mutual execrations. They must have this execration word. They must have these. <laughs> they must. Uh, they must have just located this shit. They went it out. I ain't never heard it in the scriptures. But okay, again, we just we just tripping on this. I'm calling this bullshit and stand on that. You see that. But you make up your own mind. And you just what you're doing anyway. Israel is not satisfied unless they are on the chopping block. Okay? Because you are on the chopping block. You're going to get that ass chopped up by following this foolishness. These are the names of their chiefs. Samziah. All these other fools. Then took their wives each choosing for himself whom they began to approach and with whom they cohabited teaching them sorcery enchantations uh, and the dividing of roots and trees whatever in the hell that is and the women conceiving brought forth giants whose stature was each 300 cubits. I guess these niggas like the size of the damn uh, Statue of Liberty or something. <laughs> these devoured all which the labor of men produced until it became possible to feed them. Impossible, excuse me. When they turned themselves against men in order to devour them and began to injure burn beasts, reptiles, fishes, to eat their flesh one after another, and to drink their blood. Oh, scary. Then the earth reproved the unrighteous. Moreover, Zazel taught men to make swords, knives, shields, breastplates, fabrication of mirrors, and the workmanship of bracelets and ornaments. Oh, he did. The use of paint, beautifying of the eyebrows. Why would he know about all this? He was a what well, he must have been a fairy. What you call? I guess now. Oh, listen to this. I guess now the heavenly Father in heaven has faggotry going on. There it goes again. Another contradiction. You the 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 effeminate shall in no wise inherit the kingdom. But this nigga, 
why would how in the hell would he know about beautifying of the eyebrows? You see, there's this some white man bullshit for you. All right, the use of stones of every valuable and select kind and all sorts of dyes so that the world became altered. Oh, yeah. I got you. I got you. I forgot. I guess these niggas are down on earth. Now, I can't follow this shit. Okay, so they decided all this, but they had, had, had to have had the knowledge before they got to the earth. So these niggas is into eyebrow painting around the Heavenly Father. And the Heavenly Father just sit there and said, hey, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. There ain't nothing I can do about it. These niggas is, you know, they, they're my sons and they can do, they just do what the hell they want to do. I'm helpless. Again, where is Hamashiach while all of this is going on? That's what I'm asking you. Where is he? You know what? We're not going to continue with this foolishness. I just wanted to read a couple of things. I know you all ain't trying to take a lesson in Enoch unless some of you uh, do subscribe to this foolishness. Well, you already know what the hell it says. So I am at you, chest up, asking you to show me where there's some witnesses, asking you to answer my question, where the hell was Helmashayak? When these niggas was overthrowing the, <laughs> the kingdom of the heavenly father. That's what I want to know. Overthrowing heaven. Painting our brows and shit. Wearing skirts. They doing whatever in the hell they want to up here. And I want to know about this. We keeping it funky right here. You see that? So don't get mad at me. Okay. So now before we get out of here. I'm going to make certain that it's truly edifying. Uh, not just me making a mockery out of this foolishness. Let us go to 1 Corinthians in the 15th chapter. Now, these brothers supposedly is sitting up in heaven with the Heavenly Father, overthrowing the place. Okay, I guess they got Hamashiach duct taped in the back somewhere, so we'll, we'll let that ride. Okay, so these angels, these celestial bodies, because we know there's no flesh and blood in the kingdom. Let's read that right quick. Now, another problem right here. Listen to this. It says it is sown a natural body. OK, let's go back. OK, the resurrection of the dead. OK, listen to this. It says it is sown in dishonor and raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. This is the body. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. So but these niggas is already spiritual bodies. And then they're going to transfer and go into being natural bodies. That's backwards. That's a conflict with these scriptures. Somebody is lying. The Heavenly Father got all kinds of confusion going on in these scriptures. So how the hell are we supposed to uh, attain to the kingdom then if he can't even get his word straight? He's saying in one hand, you got to start in the spirit in the body and then you come into the spirit and these niggas started in the spirit and they went into the body <laughs> all right and i got like i said how my shy he must be tied up in the back somewhere you see that all right then it says uh how be it that which was not first which is spiritual but that which is natural and afterward that which is spiritual. Wait a minute right here. That's totally contradictory to this goddamn book of Enoch. These niggas started in the spiritual and then they went into the flesh. This is some white man foolishness. You know it and I know it. All right. The first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is of the Lord from and Okay. Let's see. Um, wait a minute. The first man is of the earth earthly. The second man is of the Lord from heaven. But what are these niggas up here? These niggas doing a Zazel. That's a damn goat. 
<laughs> in the Torah, that's what that's a, a zazel, that means goat, don't it? If I ain't too um if I'm not mistaken. All right, so we got another discrepancy. The first man is of the earth, not of the celestial body in heaven. So that's backwards again. The second man, okay, is of the Lord from heaven. But these niggas, the second man is of the earth. <laughs> As is earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And as is as the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. All right, so now we're going to go on down and, um, you know, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. I guess these niggas, they didn't sleep either. And they were changed. They decided they were going to change themselves. Like I said, just listen, never mind me. How my shock, he's tied up in the back somewhere right now. Mm -hmm. They got a fucking sock in his mouth. You see that? And I understand that. And I guess, I guess the Heavenly Father, he under the, he cowering under the bed somewhere. You see that? This is some white man foolishness, Israel. <laughs> Israel, listen, stop the foolishness and the madness. This ain't no goddamn game, okay? You might as well go on and put the Avengers in the scriptures. And I know all you niggas use this shit in this book, you know, this solstice, all of this foolishness to try to say what do you know how to, what the Sabbath is or where the witness is at. That's all I'm asking. Moses did. He missed the. He, he given the law. He gonna tell you what the what the Sabbath is holy and all of these things. But he gonna forget to give you the direction of how, of how to uh, of how to you know understand what to do when you niggas ultimately go into to slavery. Cause he 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 prophesied our going into captivity, slavery, slave ships, and all of that. We wouldn't know where in the hell we are, who we are, none of that. But he didn't. Uh, he dropped no line to make certain that we'd have some way of understanding. I guess the Heavenly Father been tied up in the back for a long time, thousands of years, earth years. With a sock in his mouth. Mm, 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 mm. He can't talk. You see that? Because these niggas right here, they have him tied up in the back along <laughs> next to Amashag, I guess. Or oh, he cowering under the bed. Whatever it is, okay? And yeah, I'm making a mockery of it. And I expect uh, the fan mail won't be too uh, won't be too cool. But we don't give a damn. You see that? My job is to protect these little ones who might have their soul subverted by this kind of brand of bullshit. And we ain't gonna have it. You see what I'm saying? So we gonna make mockery of this foolishness. If you want to prove it, just simply show us. Give us some witnesses. Show me somebody else. Talking about a book of Enoch. Because again, the scripture said, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, Moses told Moses gave those words. So I want to see this book right here mentioned. Otherwise, all my brothers and sisters out here who have not fallen yet for this, and don't forget, we've been learning for a couple of weeks now. It ain't you don't have to be the false prophet. If you seek after them. You're getting the same punishment. Hamashag has a, something that I withstand into all the good things that you may have done this thing against you. Because you got this false teacher and doctrines in the midst of you. Now, from what I know, no, I'm not talking about believe. From what I know, he does not bear the sword in, in vain. Okay. So there it is. Just a little something. We never get to have us a little fun. So if you want to call this having some a little fun, then guess what? So be it. We had a laugh in captivity because usually it ain't nothing a damn thing funny. But this this is funny. That these niggas let this foolishness in the midst of them and hold dear to it and want to fight me. They seek my life all because I shine the spotlight on this foolishness. Listen to it good, Israel. Make your own decision, family.
<clears throat> Shalom, family.